Okay, so pair number one, we have sodium hydroxide solution, which is clear. We have ammonium chloride solution, which is slightly cloudy, but still mostly clear. Most of the cloud is just bubbles stuck to the side of the container. So we'll start out with sodium hydroxide in the dish. You can see, it's still clear solution. The initial temperature of the sodium hydroxide is around 21 or 22 degrees. Now I'll be adding the ammonium chloride. So there's no noticeable temperature change, but there is an immediate and very strong odor of like a Windex-like or ammonia-like odor. It is very sharp and very strong. Now we have pair number two. So we have sodium hydrogen carbonate and we have acetic acid. So we'll start out with the solid material, the sodium hydrogen carbonate in the dish. See, the acetic acid is a very clear solution. And immediately upon adding of the acid, and we'll add a little bit more here, there's a vigorous bubbling and fizzing. And No significant change in temperature. Maybe a slight decrease of one or one and a half degrees Celsius. Pair three, we have sodium hydroxide solution and we're mixing it with magnesium chloride solution. Both are clear solutions. Let's start out with the sodium hydroxide in the watch glass. Starting temperature of the sodium hydroxide is around 20 degrees Celsius. And we'll now add the magnesium chloride. And we're seeing a definite change in the texture here. There's definitely some sort of solid material forming. It's a white, cloudy looking solid. No noticeable change in temperature, but there's definitely a white solid that is forming in the dish. You can see it pretty clearly there. Again, no change in the temperature. So now we have pair four. Once again, we have sodium hydroxide solution, which is clear. Put some here in the watch glass. And again, the initial temperature of the sodium hydroxide is 20 degrees Celsius. We'll be adding phenol thaline. And we can see that there's an immediate color change to purple. There is no significant change in the temperature of the solution. Pair 
Now we have pair five, which is the purple product of pair four, which has an initial temperature of around 19 degrees Celsius. And we are going to add acetic acid to it. And we can see that the addition of the acetic acid is changing the solution back to clear. In fact, almost all of the purple color has disappeared. In fact, now it's all gone. There was a significant change in temperature during that reaction as the temperature rose from 19 to 29 degrees Celsius. Now we have pair number six, where we will be mixing potassium iodide with lead two nitrate. So we'll start with the potassium iodide in the watch glass. You can see they're both very clear solutions. Initial temperatures are around 20 degrees Celsius. And now we'll add the lead. You can see there's an immediate color change to bright yellow. The bright yellow is a solid powdery precipitate and there is a slight one degree, maybe two degrees temperature change. Now we have pair seven. So we have zinc metal, which is a gray, grayish kind of soft metal and we have hydrochloric acid. So the zinc is just in chunks. And we'll take the hydrochloric acid and add it to the zinc. Okay, right now both are at about 21 degrees Celsius. See, there is some bubbling and fizzing going on. Some fairly vigorous bubbling and fizzing. It's only a very small temperature change occurring. see that there's quite a bit of popping. The, the bubbling and fizzing is pretty vigorous around the pieces of metal. Still no significant change in temperature. As further evidence that a gas is being evolved, I have a burning splint over top and the splint is popping as the gas reaches it. 